Nicole the Math Lady. Today we are starting Algebra 1. Woohoo! <laughs> I love algebra. Yes, I do. Here's why. If you can learn the process, you can do just about any algebraic problem. But before we can jump into algebra, we have to review some of our pre-algebra concepts. So, you know, sex and math is really good about doing reviews. So we've got probably, you know, a dozen or so lessons at least of just reviewing some past concepts. You ready for today's concept? Yep. It's all about addition and subtraction of fractions. So we're going to handle it three ways. And remember, we're doing review, so it's going to be quick. We're going to handle the same denominators, adding and subtracting same denominators. We're going to add and subtract different denominators. Then we're going to add and subtract mixed numbers. Let's get started with the same denominator. Let's do it. Take our first problem. We've got 6 ninths plus 2 ninths. We have the same denominator, which means when we have the same denominator, we can go ahead and add the numerators. 6 plus 2 is 8. And our denominators stay the same. Our answer is 8 ninths. Okay, try this problem. 6 ninths plus 5 ninths. Again, same denominator, so we know our denominator stays the same. And the rule is we can add the numerator. 6 plus 5 is 11. But do we keep it like this? What's this called? Ah, it's an improper fraction. And we don't keep improper fractions improper unless we are kind of told to. So for the most part, we're going to change this into a mixed number, which is going to be 1. And the difference between 11 and 9 is 2. So it's 1 and 2 ninths is your answer. OK, let's do a, a subtraction problem. 7 eighths minus 3 eighths. Well, again, denominators are the same, so we can keep that. And we're going to handle the numerators. 7 minus 3 is 4. But you know we're, we're going to keep the 4 eighths like that? Nope. We always simplify fractions down to the lowest form, which here would be 1 half. Okay, that's a quick review of fractions with the same denominator. Now let's look at different denominators. Take a look at this example. 2 fifths plus 2 thirds. Do we have the same denominator? No, we do not. So we have to convert them so they have the same denominator. And we do that by finding what? The least common multiple. Yes, what's the least common multiple between 5 and 3? 15. So let's convert these fractions to fractions where the denominator is 15. I'm going to write it this way just so you can see. 2 fifths plus 2 thirds. Okay? All right, let's do it. We're going to give this a denominator of 15. 5 times 3 is 15. So what you do to the bottom, you got to do to the top. 2 times 3 is 6. Let's do it down here. Give it a denominator of 15. 3 times 5 is 15. 2 times 5 is 10. Now we can add. We get 16 over 15. And that is an improper fraction. So are we going to keep it that way? Mm -mm. Let's turn it into a mixed number. 1, and how much is left over between 16 and 15? 1 is left over, over 15. So 1 and 1 15 would be your answer. Let's try it with subtraction. Different denominators, so we need the least common multiple. For 4 and 6, what is that? It's 12, yep. So let's just write it this way, just for now. You don't always have to write it like this. This takes a long time. You've got to be able to do it quicker, but it's the first, it's the first lesson. So we're going to warm up slowly, yes? Okay, here we go. 4 times what is 12? 4 times 3 is 12. So 3 times 3 is 9. And 6 times 2 is 12. So 1 times 2 is 2. Let's subtract. 9 minus 2 is 7 twelfths. And that cannot be reduced any further. So 7 twelfths is your answer. Now let's deal with that third bucket that I had identified mixed numbers. We're going to add and subtract mixed numbers. So the rule here is that we just deal with the whole number separately. So we're going to add our 3 and our 2. We know we're going to get a 5. But then we need to add our 1 fourth and our 3 sevenths separately. And those do not have the same denominator. So you know what we need to do. We're going to convert them. And this time, since you have the hang of it, I'm not going to write it the long way. We're going to do it, kind of do it in our heads. So what is the least common multiple between 7 and 4? 
that would be 28. So we're going to bring both of these. I'm going to go like this. Dink, dink, over 28. Okay, 4 times 7 is 28. So 1 times 7 is 7. 7 times 4 is 28. So 3 times 4 is 12. And now we can add. 12 and 7 is 19 over 28. That cannot be simplified, so our answer is going to be, I'll put it up here, 5 and 19 28s. Now let's tackle mixed numbers with subtraction because some different things happen here. So first of all, let's go ahead and convert our fractions to uh, their least common multiples, okay? So we've got 6 and 4. Well, we already did that in the last problem. We know that that's going to be the number 12. Is going to be the least common multiple. So 6 times 2, and then 1 times 2. So this is 2 twelfths. 4 times 3 is 12. 3 times 3 is 9. So if we were just going to follow that last same kind of philosophy, deal with the whole numbers by themselves, deal with the fractions by themselves, we kind of have a problem. Hmm? Right? What's our problem? Uh, 2 twelfths is smaller than 9 twelfths. So mm, we need a little help from the whole numbers. What we're going to have to do is from this 8, we're going to, now, depends on what school of thought you come from. Some people say we're going to borrow one and bring it over, the equivalent of one. Some people say we're going to regroup it. That's the new way we, do, we say it. It doesn't really matter to me as long as you know what to do, okay? So what we're going to do, I'm gonna cross out this 8, make it a 7. I'm going to take that 1 that I just took away from this 8, I'm going to bring it over here, actually over here, right? The same 12 twelfths is the same as 1. So I'm going to add right up here in the corner 12 twelfths to my 2 twelfths, which is going to be 14 twelfths. You with me? So all I did was regroup 1 to 12 twelfths and add it to the 2 that was there. That is why I have 14 twelfths. All right, now I can do my subtraction. 14 minus 9 is 5 twelfths. And now we can go back and do the whole numbers. We have a 7 minus 2 is 5. So 5 and 5 twelfths is your answer. And that's it. That is your review of addition and subtraction of fractions. Not too bad, right? Hopefully that came back to you pretty easy. But here's the thing. If it didn't and you're like, huh, I might need a little more, <laughs> a little more review, that is okay, okay? Particularly if you have the uh, by topic membership, the all grades membership for my website, I have each of these topics has their own video. A video just on adding when they have the same denominator, just on subtracting when they have different denominators. So you can go into one topic much more in depth. Feel free to check out that by topic section of the website and get the review that you need, okay? All right, that's it for me today. It's Nicole the Math Lady. Hope you're having a good one. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.